Lawmakers are preparing to weigh in for the first time on Governor Bill Lee's school voucher plan. And tonight, we have a better idea which families would be able to apply. The education savings accounts, or ESAs, would provide state money to cover private school tuition and other expenses. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders joins me in the studio now to break this all down. Brad. Katina, this proposal has its supporters and detractors, and this is the first major push in three years by Tennessee lawmakers to offer vouchers to students in low-performing public school areas. Now, the real debate and details are rolled out and get ironed out before an expected vote this spring. By 2021, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee wants to provide $7,300 for 5,000 students in the state's lowest performing districts, including Shelby County. The education savings account could be used to pay for private schools, online schools, or cover things such as textbooks. It's a hot button proposal. What matters most is, are we getting each child in our state access to a quality education? And education savings accounts do that. The impact will be detrimental. Um, we already have a lot of school closures within uh, Shelby County Schools. As the proposal stands now, to qualify for the accounts, the eligible income cap would range from nearly $61,000 for a family of two to nearly $109,000 for a family of five. Those at the government watchdog group, the Beacon Center, support the plan. We think that Governor Lee's proposal is reasonable in that it does give lower middle class and lower income families the same options that other families who are wealthier and can afford uh, those options have. Shelby County educators feel differently. They argue struggling public school districts need more financial help and worry vouchers would redirect that money elsewhere. We need the funds so that we can, uh, we can provide everything that our students need with the choices that are available. Now, the governor's proposal includes protections against fraud and mechanisms to terminate any accounts being abused. The State House Education Committee discussing this proposal tomorrow includes three lawmakers from Shelby County, but I didn't hear back from them today. Reporting live in the studio, Brian Broder's Local 24 News.